Hey folks, Dan Takashi here. So today we had a pretty bloody day in the markets. We had the Euro stocks 50 was down 2.55 cents. The Europe stocks got smashed today. Dow Jones also was down 2.09%, 725 points, guys. Now on top of this, I'm looking at oil and oil crashed today almost 8%. This is looking pretty bloody. It's looking pretty ugly. Let's look at the charts. Let's look at the news. Why did this happen? Is this going to continue? Should we be buying? Should we be selling? I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of questions on the Japanese channel and my English channel. I want to try and go through this very carefully, looking at the stock market, commodities market, and also at the treasuries market and give you guys my take and an update on what's going on right now. And those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. I would appreciate if you guys press the subscription button as well as the like button and the notification button below, and you'll get notified anytime I put out new content. Today currently is Tokyo Japan time, 3.21 p.m., and it is July the 20th, meaning that it's still at 2.21 a.m. Uh, New York Eastern time zone. Okay, so guys, let's walk through this here and let's talk about what happened. So before I get into this, guys, just as a reminder, I'm likely going to release the new uh, and latest and probably maybe the final version of my app uh, this week, probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is the world's first, as far as I know, social media platform that you can directly make money without any sponsors or any affiliates. It's the world's first. And not just that, but anybody can do it. You don't need to be some super celebrity with 10,000 followers. Take a look at the app. I think it's a pretty interesting idea and not just that there's a rating system on it so we actually will allow it's up to you to get rated or not especially if you want to make money then you need certain ratings and it's not just about how many followers you have it's about the quality of your actions and your posts so uh feel free to check that out later on this week i'm very excited about this i got a team of almost 30 people now it's a big team so super excited about this so let's get into the markets guys what the heck happened today so dow tumbled 700 points for its worst drop since October as investors fear a COVID resurgence. Basically, it's talking about how the market is getting destroyed right now because the world is worried about coronavirus. Again, picking up here. Uh, and I'm looking through this news and, you know, it's you know talking about how the Dow had this worst day since October of last year. Uh, again, today it fell. Today, July 19, 2021, 2.09%. And the last time it got this bad was September 8th of 2020. Uh, COVID cases have rebounded in the U.S. this month with the Delta variant spreading among the unvaccinated. Uh, it's especially spreading in Europe as well. Now, this seems to be the mm, sort of the indicator that's what's causing the mar market to go down here. And we saw big names that are related to COVID like, you know, Carnival Corp, etc. Uh, got hit really badly as well. Uh, again, we're talking about how energy also got it set, shed 7.5% to go down 66.42. So again, a lot of this is really related to coronavirus. So coronavirus related to cruise stocks, then coronavirus related to energy as well. Uh, and then we also saw some of the airline stocks like Delta, American, United, all sinking 4 or 5% here. So that seems to be like the main reason why we're getting hit here. Now, is this really something that we should be taking notice of? I mean, guys, overall, I'm looking looking right at the objective data here. Yes, cases are going up right now, but we're not even close to what we were at, you know, let's say in April or May or June or, you know, even farther back as let's say 2020 in December, November, October. We're not even close to the levels that we are right now for daily new cases. So they're definitely going down quite a bit here. Uh, and not just that, but daily new deaths are going down dramatically here. Uh, you know, right now we have daily new deaths that reported yesterday about for July 19th worldwide at 6,858. And guys, this is again less than half. It's almost about a third of the peak at January of 20 this year. So, guys, just to note that, you know, the vaccine is working. The Delta variant, yes, it's out. And yes, it's not having a good effect on the economy. But overall, the vaccine is kicking into the economy. But it seems that we have some worries that this might be continuing to go forward. I'm skeptical that this is really the reason why we're going down. I don't think it's just this. I think it also has to do with the tapering that is upcoming here. I, I strongly believe it has to do with this tapering here. And I've been talking about this in a lot of my videos. Feel free to check them out from this week or last week. But basically, I think that the Fed is going to start tapering its MBS, which is mortgage backed securities. I think the ECB will probably start tapering as well, maybe a little bit later than the uh, Fed, because the, Fed, the US has a very high inflation right now. Canada is already starting to taper. Um, looks like Australia will probably start to taper soon. It's all going to start happening probably August, September, 
probably late summer or fall i think this is going to start to happen and it will start to get announced and the market is starting i think to brace for it, this reality i think that is what's causing the biggest sell-off here and we can see some of this news here that a, a lot of fed hedge funds are getting blindsided by it right this bond rally right now right now basically guys bonds are rallying bonds are going up and up and up and up and up and bonds are going up and a lot of hedge funds are short and this is what's causing a big uh let's go bleeding let's say what's going on this often happens on wall street where the positions kind of get very tilted in one direction and then the market goes the other direction and it happens all the time so i think that's what's causing a lot of bleeding right now so that's what's causing sort of these bond prices to sort of scorch higher here we can see the 10-year bond prices in the u.s are just jumping very fast right now the 30-year is also jumping very fast right now and this is what's causing yields to go down and a lot of hedge funds are bleeding as a result of this uh again you know people are worried about uh the market is finally discounting a meaningful slowdown in growth etc etc i don't know if i believe this i see this all the time whenever the market falls you got my, all the bears that come out and say i told you so the growth is slowing blah 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 guys what the the what, what i think is really new is it's not the delta variant we've heard about this delta variant for like over a year now uh and different delta variants and different variants have always come out etc but overall the number of cases are going down what's new here is central banks are changing they're changing a huge direction for the first time in like a year and a half i think that's the bigger news here and i think that is what is what's waking up the market right now during a summer lull when volumes are usually low uh, it's easier to cause a panic and this team seems to happen almost almost every year i, I think during the especially sometime in the late summer to fall this tends to usually happen so let's take a look at the markets here and let's do some technical analysis to see how much farther is this going to go and which sectors are getting hit the worst as usual guys i'm going to run through some technical analysis if you're new to this stuff if you're new to charts if you're just new to investing overall whether you're a beginner or whether you're an advanced level investor check out some of the videos in my description area to how to get started investing or just a review on how to use some of this technical chart analysis also feel free to check out brokerage accounts i use as other information as well it's all up to you guys use whoever you want just giving you full disclosure as to what i'm doing check it out if you're interested so let's take a look here let's look at the charts here overall let's see what's going on i want to first start with the dow jones etf here dia volume was a big that was a big one guys that's a big big a lot a lot of volume here uh this is the biggest volume day that we've had since yeah we're going into 2020 in uh yeah november so this is when the vaccine was announced i remember this day very clearly that's the type of volume we're having right now that's pretty big uh, I think that is worth noting that we haven't had this type of volume uh, when the vaccine was out and then we had a huge up move and now we're having the equal uh, huge down move right now in terms of volume so guys that's a little bit scary here the S&P 500 volume was not as big this is the biggest volume since March this year so not as scary and then the Nasdaq QQQ volume actually not as big as well and then looking at the Russell here the Russell volume was ooh, that was a little bit big too but still it's only as big as it was in March this year the real big selling pressure seems to be in the Dow here the Dow Jones stocks especially related to uh, airlines, cruise lines, energy, et cetera, something that's, you know, related to the coronavirus or anything stopping, uh, you know, relating to the coronavirus. And, but when I say stopping, anything stopping the economy from recovering due to the coronavirus, I think these are the names that are getting hit the most. So let's look at the sectors here. Today, very interestingly wise, retail not hit that much. SOX index, the Look at this semiconductor index barely went down 0.1% today barely anything pharma also barely down today guys barely any bleeding here the real bleeding we're having is again in the cyclicals here the cyclicals i mean look at this the metal mining etf the energy etf these are all down 3.3 3.5 3 and then the banks also down 2.8 percent this is where the big bleeding is right now they're called cyclicals because these often move usually together with the economy and they tend to move pretty uh, dramatically with the economy. That's why they usually call it cyclical sort of uh, sectors here. So these are moving quite violently right now. And I think the volume, if we take a look at here, XLF today, the financial sector wasn't as big, uh, but then the energy sector, that was pretty hefty here. And then the minings and metals index, that's a huge amount of volume here. We saw the equal amount of huge volume here on June 17th as well. So it seems like the selling pressure has not abated whatsoever. It still seems like it's continuing at right now. 
now. So guys, looking at this right now, so some of these tech stocks are doing okay. Some of them are going down. I'm getting a lot of sort of riffraff on my comment section here and in the Japanese channel and the English channel. Dan, tech stocks are not really re getting reacted here. You're telling us to sell tech stocks, but they're not getting reaction right now. Shouldn't we be buying these tech stocks? You know, and what should we be doing with these airline stocks and cruise line stocks? You've been telling us to be, you've been telling us to buy these things basically since last year, even before the vi even before the vaccine came out. Uh, they've been great winners so far. Is this the time to cut our losses? And also bonds right now. What should you be doing right now? So let me give you my detailed analysis and a update on my advice based on today's move. As usual, guys, investment is and always will be self-responsibility. And guys, just remember, long-term investment, I recommend you put 70-90% of your net worth here. And short-term investment, I recommend putting about 30-10% to 10 here. You want the short-term strategy here, especially for times like now, when the market is starting to crank down. This is where you start doing shorts, hedges, pair trades, following trends here. And trends can be quick. And when they go down quick, you can be shorting stuff and you can make a lot of money fast. So it's a great strategy. And it also also, this short term strategy can oftentimes protect your long term strategy here. So for details, check out the description area and some of my previous videos as well. Right now, I continue to think that long term investment is a good time to be shifting assets from this green area to this red area. I've been saying this for the last like two weeks or three weeks or so. So before this move happened and my reason was basically simple. If you look at the last 10 years of history, usually there's a little bit more volatility in August and September. That was my vault video. I'll put it again on the uh, uh, at the end of this video. I'll put it in the um, ending screen here. So I continue to think that's a good thing to do. At the same time, that doesn't mean you take your stocks down to zero. This green area here, right? Usually I have about 60, 70 percent into this green area. Now I'm taking it down to like 40 or 50 percent. And what I'm still holding here is, yeah, I'm still holding these stocks. I'm still holding these airlines. I'm still holding these cruise companies. I'm still holding these banks. Some of these energy companies, they're getting hit. But coronavirus will come to an end. When I say come to an end, it'll exist, but it'll become like a normal influenza because we're all getting flu. We're all getting shots. We're all getting vaccinated. The vaccine works for the most part. If you look at the data, yes, there's always some a little blips here and there in the data. But to be honest, guys, from what I'm looking at the data, there's a higher chance of you walking out the street and getting a car accident today than getting a terrible side effect and dying from this vaccine. So Put that putting that into scope here, I highly believe that this coronavirus will be history at some point and you want to still hold on to these stocks just not as much as normal and right now hold on to government bonds cash and a little bit maybe of gold here uh short term guys i'm still thinking that you got to stay short here uh short europe short nasdaq short um you know even dow jones here so see these are some of the names that i've been advocating recently also i've been advocating short oil here so that's been a really great market to short um i think hold on to all of these like none of these to me seem like they are going up anytime soon uh, that's the best way to put it here so i sometimes look at just uh just to get a glimpse of the market how people are thinking right now i take a look at etfs and i also look at cfds and futures if you're curious uh check out the link below here but look let's say just looking at ig here uh, one of the accounts i've been using for a while looking at just say oil here right now uh the positioning in oil here it's still quite long here even with the sell-off i think this thing is going to keep going down here uh and then also looking at the tech sector here uh u.s tech here from what i'm seeing here again this is only 64 percent short here it's actually gone down so people are recovering today here uh and then also looking at let's say wall street so let's say looking at this is the dow jones cfd as well i'm seeing here that this 51 percent long now so this down move is actually causing people to cover their short positions I think that maybe we're going to have a little bit of a rebound. What's called a dead cat bounce today. Markets will go up. It'll recover. I think that's probably another chance to sell more, I think, because this downtrend doesn't seem like it's going to end that fast. Uh, that's a lot of volume today we saw in the Dow Jones, guys. That's a big amount of volume. Dow Jones and especially the metals and mining ETF. So if these things go back up, I think right now, short term, you can short more. It's a great hedge on your portfolio. It's a great way to protect yourself, especially the long term. You still got this green area. You still got stocks. Well, I know it still sucks. I got some of these stocks, too. They're bleeding today. But at least you took it down. Hopefully you followed my advice from one or two weeks ago. You took down your positions from originally 60 to 40 percent. And now also you'll hopefully follow my advice from one or two weeks ago and you have some shorts on. So that means you are protecting yourself. And when markets are going down, you're also making money. I think you hold on. 
you don't need to change anything. It's too early yet to cover your shorts. This downturn just happened. It's just one day it's been so far. Let's give it a few more days. I don't think there's any rush to cover right now. We're in a downtrend. We're not in an uptrend. You want to be short stocks you don't want to be long and especially this short-term trading account so guys that's my advice for today hopefully you enjoyed today's content if you did please press the like button the subscription button as well as the notification button below i love you all good luck investing everyone and i will keep you updated soon